Good news, Explorer. We've just received location information for Sarah's father, Dr. George Brightside, who was abducted from his home in Bandiagara, Mali. He's been found on the South American continent. You'll travel high into the Andes to a lost civilization known as Tiwanaku. According to the locals, the temple complex was built by giant beings under the direction of Viracocha, a visitor from another world. Viracocha made the sun and the moon. Viracocha made the giants first. If you bring me my book of drawings, I will give you a key. Giants build this place. Viravosha was not happy with the giants. Then the flood came and killed the giants. Viracocha will return again.
of the mysterious city of Tiwanaku left no written record. We only have man-made structures and geological evidence to form theories. The ruins of the ancient Tiwanaku lie near the southeastern shore of Lake Titicaca. At an altitude of almost 13,000 feet, it is one of the highest ancient cities in the world. There is evidence to support that Tiwanaku was once a port which means that people lived here when the continent of South America was partially submerged. Tiwanaku's buildings were constructed of massive finished stones, many tons in weight, with the nearest quarry of the stone located more than 50 miles away. The stones were carved and placed in such a manner that only a people with advanced engineering methods could have designed and transported them. How were these stones transported in ancient times, before the invention of modern machinery? Were the people of Tiwanaku hiding a secret the world has yet to uncover? <coughs>
Oh. <laughs>